Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install CVP Operation Manager, which allows you to manage and configure the CVP server. A single operation manager can handle can uh, configure multiple CVP call servers uh, from remote locations. Now we do have one CVP, one dedicated Windows server acting as operation console. Now keep in mind, uh, a CVP server can only be managed by one operation console at a time. So this is the operation console server that we're going to use. Again, it does not have to be a member of any domain. So we're, we're, ju we're just going to directly go to the CD-ROM and start installing the program. All right, so CD-ROM, Windows installer, go to setup. So this is what we're going to uh, be logging in in order to access our CVP site A and site B. Now, while this is taking place, make sure you do have CVP server A and B installed, though you don't need that necessarily during the installation. Okay, so accept the term. We're gonna select operation console. Click next. New law, oh sorry, and continue. Again, of course, you need all the security, uh, sorry, certificate details. All right, so we'll wait for the servers to be installed, installation to be completed. So here you can see it's asking for a username, a uh, password for the CVP console. So once the CVP is installed, you can access it by going to um, the app programs, right there, operation console. Now the operation console can be accessed remotely as well by going into the IP address of the operation console server and the port number 9443. Now here you can see the portal so we can log in as administrator and the password will be the password that you define in the last stage of the installation. Okay so you can see there's some compatibility um, Compatibility most must be set for the application of browser. This is one of the problem with Cisco and Microsoft that there's always a browser war between them All right, so that's basically how you deploy the operation console. Uh, I believe this is something to do with um, Tools menu go to compatibility settings add the local host and then I guess restart uh, Relogging that should solve the problem Yep, it has, you can see the menus are accessible. All right, so that's pretty much it for this particular lab and I will be seeing you in the